Hello, today we are going to learn about subject verb agreement. It means that subjects and verbs in a sentence must agree in number. Here is a subject. It's a puzzle piece. Remember, a subject tells us who or what the sentence is about. Here comes the verb. Now, a verb is an action word. It tells us what the subject is doing. So, this is the subject and that is the verb. If the subject and verb agree with each other, then they fit together nicely, just like you see over here. Sheila likes school. So the subject here is Sheila and the verb here is likes. So they fit together correctly. Why? Because the subject is singular and the verb is also singular. But what happens when the subject and verb in a sentence disagree? Just like our aliens here are disagreeing playfully. So this is the subject and this is our verb. So let's see, our subject is they and the verb is is. They is friends. Well, doesn't sound right because you see they is a plural word and it does not go with the singular is. So let's correct this so our aliens can shake hands. There we go. The subject now agrees with the verb plural subject and plural verb. So they're friends now. All right, let's move on. Singular subjects go with singular verbs. Let's look at some examples. The dog chases the cat. So the dog is the singular subject and chases is the singular verb. So the sentence is correct. Okay, let's look at another one. His father is a doctor. His father again is a singular subject and it uses a singular verb. He reads a book before bedtime. He is a singular subject and reads is a singular verb. Okay, a collective noun is usually taken as a whole and takes a singular verb. For example, family, this is a collective noun, class, orchestra, flock, such as a flock of birds or a pack of wolves, Let's look at some example sentences. My family enjoys this movie. So my family is a collective noun and it is taken as a singular subject and the verb is also a singular verb. A flock of birds, again a singular subject and then we have the singular verb with it. Let's talk about plural nouns and plural verbs. So when we have plural subjects, we use plural verbs. Let's look at some examples. They play chess. So they is a plural subject and it uses a plural verb. A Q and I watch a cartoon. So a Q and I together make a plural subject and they take a plural verb. All right, let's practice. You can stop the video to read the story and then we will together correct any errors in it. All right, let's look at some of the subject verb disagreements here. Sentence number one contains an error. Alishba is a singular subject and it should take a singular verb. So let's add an ES at the end. That's correct now. Okay, let's move on to sentence three. She is a singular subject, so the verb should be singular with it. Let's add an S here. We move on to sentence number five, the opposite team. Team here is a collective noun and it is taken as singular and the verb with it should also be singular. So let's add an S there. Then sentence seven also has an error. D is a plural subject and it should take a plural verb. So we'll drop this S here to make it a plural verb. All right, you did it. Good job.